Welcome to part five, Tunnel Dave. Let's have a look down here. I want to introduce you to a new member of the team today. So I had a big tidy up down here, look. So I'm Dave. And this is Jim, the new member of the team, busy pumping air. Here's my great escape replica tunnel here, and that's going back towards the house. As you can see, it's getting very long down there now. First job, we need to finish off that sump pump we're doing in part four, and then we can finally do the air pump I've been dying to do. That pipe fits down there pretty nice, doesn't it? The new technique is using this, the drill, the long drill bit, masonry bit, and having the tom underneath look like that, and you drop the stuff straight in the tom. Digger John back, trying out the drill method of moving the gravel out. I think he's liking it. He's digging foot number 13. I didn't really fancy doing number 13. Not sure whether he knows about that yet. You can you can see the different bands here in the, in the soil. So you see this this here. So we've got like clays, sort of slight slight clay in that sand. Whereas this bit here is really good sand look. I've got a new idea to get rid of the gravel. So I bought these tun bags. We're just gonna tip these in here and then we can put five tun bags around here and then when, when the lawn dries out a little bit, I can bring the 3CX across here. Save a load of messing around. Simple as that. The Greatest Gate air pump, as shown on the film here, So this is their air pump on the film and I thought I'd make one just the same as that. But then I looked at the pictures, the proper pictures I've seen here and that looks nothing like the proper one. So I'm going to make one just like the real one. I love this about CAD, how you can draw out your parts, fit bearings just in like that. I need a wiper motor. So this is my scrap yard. This looks like a good culprit. Let's get this bonnet open. Nice steering wheel. All right, there's a the wiper motor. Bring some tools back, whip that out, and work out how it's gonna work. Get these cobwebs out of the way. Here it is. Well, the battery's down here for the pump, so I'm going to try this to see which wires are which. Now, I think on a Range Rover, it's brown for 
negative. And we'll try one of these wires here, green and black. We need to count them all RPM, so we'll count what we're doing here. So, and then there's a black wire as well. So that should be the second speed. Right, I've just drawn my bracket out here for, to adjust the motor position. Schoolboy error, was too busy concentrating on the outer holes and forgot I needed to make the big, the middle one big. I never even looked at it. I just drew a quick circle and worried about the outer ones, which seemed to be okay. We'll never know. Get drawing again. Right, while we're checking stuff, I've made this inner plate here for this cog I'd already got lying in the workshop, so I thought I might as well use it up. Those holes seem to line up all right. The idea is this plate's gonna go in here with enough clearance for the chain. Now obviously there's no drive dog here. Are we worried about that? I don't think we are because if Jim gets stuck in any way, that's just gonna slip and save us a load of world of pain. If I put washers in here, dog that up, I can set that up to, to be a drive porch effectively, can't I? By how tight I do that knot. I hate having to do this. Normally, I draw everything out on CAD, then I don't have to drill any holes, but I was that keen to cut Jim out, I didn't finish off where the motor was going to go, but it's just one of them things, innit? That's the full travel. And it's all hidden behind here, that's the idea. A load of washers. Random width between them holes and it lines up absolutely perfect. So that, that means I can do that up and it's not going to strain them bearings. Jim's first test. I think this is too close to the chain, it probably will it to be honest not work. But. So the total stroke is from the end of that scratch to the end of this scratch, which is about 695 millimetres. 800 up to that point there. So if that'll come all the way back. So I've made the centre round section, a bulkhead, let's call it. And it's got this vent in it, one way valve, I've just put in. So now I've got to try and thread this down here. cut these little clips and fold them to hook and hold this lock together. That's it, Jim's working. I've just tried the end and it is pumping. It actually works. Look at that valve opening. See it again, watch this. Open it goes. This is on second speed wipe. It wouldn't work on first speed. Now look inside here, open, and it pushes the air back towards us. Quite a lot of air now. Open valve. The pump works. Let's get welding. As always, it started raining again.
this could be good fun getting Jim down here in order to winch him down or just carry him down let's have a brew can't beat a good brew in your tunnel dave mug can you right i've had my brew gonna try and get jim the other side of this gate Everyone keeps asking, why is your tunnel so small? Why don't you make it full height? See the little cart, the little tunnel, the air pump. This is a film on the actual Great Escape and this is the theme I've got, That hence the small tunnel, you see. Their tunnel is two foot by two foot. Once it's a clabby ward, this will be the same. Now, if I dug it all the way to the top, underneath i'd be crazy because there'd only be a couple of foot of soil so you, you might as well do it with a digger at least this i'm going to feel a bit more satisfied that i have dug it by hand i know a lot of you don't like it but just bear with me the finished product i think you're going to like and a theme i've got will be cool we've got a cutout in the roof look all right so i explain what we're doing here so this is the this is Foot number 15, the next one's 16. So we're gonna make a exit chamber at 16 foot. Now that's, for what I've got planned, that is roughly halfway, right? I'm not gonna tell you full plans yet. So I'm gonna escape out of there, make an, a, an exit chamber for the 80th anniversary of the real great escape. Looks a bit better down here now, doesn't it? There's Jim. Grafting away. Next next video, we need to be connecting that air pump up. He's happy pumping. Look, tunnel's looking good. There's one more section to put in, and then I can start the upward section in next in the next video. One week's time, hopefully. See you all there. Thank you for watching.